So we know you can't uh, brothers with truth. Or not uh, they're, they're, they're like, like a lock of hair. That's all that's those. what you was playing with locks is break. Locks are break. Yeah. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? You can, you, I, I you can look problem. like Eminem, he shaved his shit off. You don't want to be pretty. I mean, this, a man ain't supposed to be pretty and beautiful. I like looking rough. We're going to be beautiful in the kingdom, you know? We're going to be beautiful in the it's kingdom, man. Yes. But in this kingdom, man, we got to be men. And the scripture actually says, girl, up thy loins and like a man. Dreads you know what I'm saying? Dreads was like, Dreads was nasty. Those Celts were going in there. Goddamn well, I thought you said you got to leave worshiping witches and, 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 and the list just goes on and on what they were doing under the groves and oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying. saying. You, I remember you saying you got to take a vow of the Nazarite though. Well, you got to shave your head. No, nah, a vow of the Nazarite you though. Nazarite, you got to, you going to have the key. You got to be, clean. to be a, have dreadlocks, you can't wash them shit. You know what I mean? Because the Bible tell you about uh, purifying yourself and cleaning yourself before you come to the Lord. So you spot, I mean, you, Y'all didn't know you supposed to take a bath every day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some people, I'm just saying, bro. You just red like you can't watch. Man, there ain't no bow to Nazarite no more, though. You can't take a bow to Nazarite. But especially, I mean, take a bow to Nazarite. You can't, uh, Come across any dead animal or anything, you gotta start all over. You know that? We, we ain't in the time of taking no vow to that. Ezekiel 44 and 20. Neither shall they shave their heads, nor suffer their lock to grow long. They shall only fold their heads. Say locks to grow long. Fold is what you mean. Cut your hair short. Of course, yeah, okay, sure. I mean, I'd be saying y'all different reading, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's the Bible too, yeah. That's the Apocrypha. Read that. It's out of the Bible. Yeah, that's out of that Bible. King James. It's part of the Bible. Authorized King James. Like back in the 1800s, they started taking this out of the Bible. Because when the 1611, uh, King James first came out back in 1611, this was up inside of the Bible. It was the same book. You can still get Bibles that have it inside of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Catholic Bible got it in there. Yeah. So and this is why they all, why the Catholic church is bullshit. They got all that shit in there. Well, well, just like the church is a bullshit. <laughs> 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 but, but you got but you got some people in the Catholic Church who really believe in the Most High, and the Most High bring them out of that madness. You know what I'm saying? I mean, time. brothers that was in the truth is doing what we do. They used, a lot of them used to be Catholic. Catholic, you know Catholic, Catholic. Yeah. Uh, coming out of the church. Especially the Mexicans, all Catholics, Irish, Catholic, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Out west, Texas, 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 California, Texas. There's a lot of those brothers that are uh, Mexicans and Puerto Ricans or Catholic. Uh, Indian tribes that came out of that bullshit. You know, bullshit that Caesar Borgias with tattoos and all this shit. That's, the exact, um, that's why they all speak Spanish. Because uh, everybody speaks Spanish. You know Spanish is the second most spoken language on earth? That's because the Catholic Church conquered South America. They conquered, uh, you know, with the conquistadors. They conquered the Aztecs. They conquered everything. Right, pretty much, except for North America. This was, uh, uh, England. 
Y'all know who the first uh, permanent colony in America was founded by? King James. Uh, Jamestown, Jamestown, Virginia. <laughs> To wear all your garments is supposed to be made out of the same fabric. You're not supposed to be mixing uh, fabric because you ain't supposed to be wearing cotton and wool. You ain't supposed to be wearing polyester. You know what I'm saying? Like all your clothes are supposed to be made out of. But ain't nobody doing that. You know what I'm saying? But you should have right. But Babylon, make your garments. Make your garment. The garment ain't like you ain't got these flying like comfy group. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like $600 on one of those garments. You talking about the red coats? No, they look like ninja. Oh, man. I knew those little something good about that. They just look like, man, you know, they had to pay for them, man. They just, yeah, they got paid for them. And you ain't supposed to wear nothing. You ain't supposed to wear nothing. Uh, the Bible said you ain't supposed to have no. But they have holes over it. Well, they say they put a hole on top of it. But I know what you're saying. Because, uh, but there's people on the internet that. Uh, used to be down with Comfy. What's that? KOC the Great. What's that package name? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, this dude ain't no good. Cause he uh, they the Comfy don't mess them up so bad they don't even believe in the Bible no more. Because they all they did was rip them off, take their money, take advantage of people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All them souls he done, he done led straight. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, right, right. They scattered when they come. Water from the West Coast to East Coast. I saw, uh, uh, I saw that video when y'all came up on them and stuff. Cleveland Avenue. Yeah. It was on Cleveland Avenue. They oh, ran away like some scared little bitches. Yeah. yeah, they wouldn't even talk to us because of our pigment. We were trying to be cool with them, though. I know y'all was. He wouldn't even talk to him, though. He wouldn't talk to none of them. Yeah, because he was with us. He was saying that he, nah, he, was, he like, went there by himself. Oh, yeah. I was the first one I was by myself. And they, still, they don't talk. Me and Duro. It was me and Duro. They already know who we are. Oh, Daryl's with you. Yeah, Daryl, he was with me. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, they know who we are. They know who GMS is. When they got orders, don't fuck with GMS. Uh, they have to, because they're not going to talk to you. They don't talk to no damn body. Yeah. No, they don't even talk to the people they know they can suffer. You know what I mean? They try and get some weak minded people. $600, man. <laughs> My ass uniforms. I mean, they are fly too. They all fly too. I don't think that shit fly. <laughs> but looking pretty with the garments on don't make you profit. He called them earth, wind, and fire. <laughs> okay, here you go. Let me read this off. Uh, this is a this is Leviticus 20 and 5. Then I will set my face against that man and against his family and will cut them off and all that go a whoring after him commit mortal with Molech from among their people. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them, Wizard. I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. You want companies of wizards. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they are too. They love the rituals, man. Yeah, they they love, a lot of people are all about the ritual and the, the Lord talks about the gospel. People, they, they, they care more about uh, going through a ritual. They like to pray in public. They like to do everything just to be seen by men. You know what I mean? Yeah, it shows up The GMS is not a cult. No. Well, actually, you know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah what, right. what does the word cult mean? Well, you got to understand the meaning of words, oh, man. In, in the Latin, actually, I just looked it up. In the Latin, yeah. cultus yeah. means the worship. Yeah, right, right. It's it's adoration. But it's also where the word cultivate comes from. You got to cultivate your crops. You gotta feed them properly, you gotta let them grow. That's where the word culture comes from. So yeah, we got culture. We got to cultivate. <laughs> we cultivate. Because his mama tried to say <laughs> Man, everybody gonna say that, bro. She was talking about she talking about the culture. She thought she thought it was culture. Well you know what? Our moms, your mom, none of them. The church is saying none. You don't believe that. Man, look, if you into the serious about the truth, 
don't don't even talk to your family about it. Okay, don't tell your mom about it. Don't be trying to preach it to your mom unless she's cool as hell. You know what I mean? But in the that's gym, a bad idea. It's a good way to get some practice. Oh, there's uh, practice. That's a good way to get. If you live with us, we, like, we don't give a fuck at it. If you live with your mom, say say you live with your mom, that's a good way to get kicked out the house. <laughs> So it's on you. She'll, she'll kick your ass out. I mean, if you want to receive this truth and, and, and receive it in 100%, man, the Lord going to look out for you regardless. If you got a wife, your wife will leave you. Yeah. For teaching this truth. Or start cheating on you. Man. Start cheating on you. Just from knowing the truth. She'll look at you like you stupid and crazy because you're on the street corners wearing this. Uh, wearing this. You know what I mean? So you you got you prepare for something like that? Yeah. You prepare you for something like that? That's a sacrifice. Well, the Lord said make your body present your body as a living sacrifice. What's up, devil? <laughs> <laughs> I was saying him. He looks like a guy. He looks like he got butt plugs up his ass. Creepy, a creepy yeah. devil. That's a creepy devil. Creepy crawler. A creepy oh. devil. Yeah, he look creepy. Uh, he like this. And that's that scripture right here. Hey, check this out. What'd you about to read? Oh, go ahead and get that Matthew. Oh, okay, oh. Yeah. Start, uh, what, six? You're at six? Oh, yeah, Matthew six. Yeah, I'm up for it. We'll just start at one. Just so we don't get on there. Yeah, because that Matthew six breaks down these churches, man, because they want to say that we in a cult, all these churches is just directly going in against every last word the Lord said. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't, they ain't got shit to say to us. Matthew 6 and 1. Take you that you do not your own before men. Do not your own before men. You go to these churches or you watch these uh uh church uh you watch these Jesus uh TV shows. They got like Rob Parsley. You ever watch Rob Parsley? Have you ever watched the preachers on TV? They giving out money on TV, you know what I mean? That's doing your own before men. You're supposed to do that in secret. You ain't supposed to be posting. Uh, uh, Pastor Moore, Mr. Mr. Pastor Moore said that he gave uh, $10,000 to that chick. Oh, he was scared. He's posting. Bragging like a little. Yeah, see? Matthew 6, y'all Matthew 6 is breaking down step by step. Yeah, really. Get this thing out of here. They mean that you do not your own yeah, for men to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of the Father which is in heaven. There's no reward for that. You know? Therefore, when thou doest thy alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets. Synagogues, church, church, church. That they may have glory of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Even the politicians do that. They always bragging about how they helping the poor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> says this, but when thou doest on, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand do. That thy bones may be in secret, and thy father who is seated in secret himself shall reward thee over. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love the Christ standing in the synagogue. Hey, hold up. They love the Christ standing in the synagogue in the churches. Every church I've ever been to, they always chain up the church. Everybody always gotta stand up and pray together. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you say a few words, they have a dead jamming. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> every 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's all they care about, man. <laughs> and maybe it'd, it'd be some pastor pork chop that be selling hot dogs and stuff. Be feeding hot yeah, dogs be feeding to churches, some man. Hot dogs and ham sandwiches. <laughs> some chip chop ham sandwiches. Yeah. They feed the homeless nothing but pork. You know what I mean? Because I asked those, those homeless people over there when they was going to that church to get food. I said, well, do y'all feed that? They feed y'all pork. I said, sometimes they're in the real church. That dude was annoying. I'm trying to tell him, like, the They always do. He was just, he had a mad at me. Let me read this about Bible. Bible Rip. Bible Rip. Bible Rip is the, yeah, the God of the, the community. people saying we got to help the community like that, that word community that's a buzzword you know what i mean it go back to communism that's what go back to the uh, so-called jew that's what it goes back to 
Hell, you know, we say the hell with the community. We pray that the Lord destroy the community. We ain't trying to help the community. We pray, we pray the Lord destroy the community. That's all we gonna get out of here. This place gotta be destroyed. You know, all these so-called communities, they all got churches and all that. And the ghettos get worse by the day. The ghettos is growing farther and farther. They're getting bigger by the day. There's more churches being built by the day. Them churches don't do shit to help people, man. Wait till the Lord destroys these It's coming, too. I know it is. It's coming, too. You can't serve this place and doing the kingdom at the same time, man. We can't be in the kingdom. America is still over here fucking flourishing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, actually, they put chips in motherfuckers right now. Speak. Actually, yeah. I heard they putting RFIDs in the football players now. You hear about that? Hey, they doing it to uh, motherfuckers that got breast control now. Yeah. Actually, being played. See, women, that shit coming to tech. They Next thing you know, they're going to say, food stamps, you got to get this shit if you want food stamps. Welfare, all types of shit. Because the ID card, you got to already have a chip in the car. Right. You know what I mean? They don't know. Well, everybody, <laughs> the smartphones, you already getting tracked on the smartphone. They over there trying to sell me a government phone. That's how you fucking that. Obama phone? Yeah. Well, any phone is in a government phone. Oh. Actually. <laughs> Yo, know, I mean, because they got to they gotta follow government protocol. Especially for Rice. Rice is known in this country. You think it was Russia that kicked the Rice out? I don't know. Russia or somebody else? They all spot, no matter who you got. Yeah, they None of them cell phones are safe. None. Not a single one of them. None, I don't think that unless you got some kind of open source, I don't think that it's safe. YouTube is not safe. I heard, you know what I'm saying, Google, you know how Google is stalking the fuck out of people yeah. now and shit. Alright, depending on what you go to and shit, uh, what you look up on YouTube will determine if they're gonna send your ass to the kingdom camp or not. Oh yeah. I've if heard you're that. looking up a lot of Christian shit, shit that exposed them, you know what I'm saying? They'll they'll pick this thing, you're gonna be on their shit list. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got you gotta mix crazy shit in with your service. Right, so that's what I'm gonna work out there. <laughs> you know, I don't even use a good shit. I'm, I don't, I'm not scared to go to Yeah, I'm not scared to go to the tournament. I've been in this shit. I mean, I don't even know how many times. You know, I'm, the I'm not scared to go into this shit. Because once I get there, I'm teach it anyway. Because once I know I get there, I know the end soon anyway. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm a man. So I'm what you call a man. I'm not worried about shit. I'm not worried about shit because I know the Lord's will. You know, I know he's coming. You know what I'm saying? So bring it, he doing. Bring it on. Yeah, I got a script for that. They got some they don't touch them out any fucking way. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what they don't want to hear. You know? They, they want to break your spirit, you know? Right, they got these big ass motherfuckers. I guess this guy asked some dude with all these black uh, girls on and shit. He said he called them. Oh, yeah. So I you, see you, that. He said, you're the first person I actually told. I got a script for that. In uh, Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Hold on, man. Hear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. They, you afraid to go to jail? You afraid to jail? You can't do it. Of course you don't want to be there. Nobody wants to be there. But man, trust me, it's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, they got some shit playing for motherfuckers. They got guillotine. Shit, you see that they uh they talking about the use of the firing squad now. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'd rather get the firing squad than this motherfucking drug shit. They just try to kill that one dude with some drugs and took like two hours to kill the dude. Jazz your ass. <laughs> That's good. Oh, let me read it again. It said, uh, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. I can't read this. Like that, yeah, this is right. You may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Faithful unto death, that's right. Hey, can I ask you something else? When y'all say you can't wait till the Lord give y'all your power, y'all cut niggas' heads off and shit, what's that? What do you mean to give y'all power? No, the Lord gonna actually get the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's go into it. It's like uh, King David had power. Say he killed tens of thousands. 
that a normal person can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Samson had power. What am I doing what? Now he's gonna give you spiritual power, bro. Actual spiritual power. You like that X-Men. You see the movie Hancock? You see how in movie Hancock he was drinking wine and shit? It's all scriptural, man. All scriptural. But let me show you examples of uh because back back in the ancient world, the Israelite men used to be way stronger. Like Joshua, when Joshua was going to conquer all those Canaanites, he was slaying Canaanites and he was killing giants. And he did this all when he was an old man, when he was like, what, 80 years old or something? When he was like 80 years old, he was leaping over walls, you know what I'm saying? And when he died, he still had his full, uh, what's that, uh, his eyesight. Was that Moses? Well, Moses, too. Yeah, it says Moses' eyes was, was not dim when he was old. Right. Of course, like me, my, uh, I'm in my late 40s. My sight was, well, I got to wear reading glasses now. I never had to wear reading glasses. Or, you know, just, this is like a two-year-old thing. Two, three-year-old thing. Hey, back in the day, everybody was stronger. Glasses. I don't have to see everything Our men were stronger. I mean, just look at the, the Spartans, for instance. Everybody knows about the Spartans. Look at how strong they were. 300. 300. Yeah, they were like superheroes. They were Greek. What up, Greek? They was, you know, the Bible tells you... It names the Spartans by name and tells you these Israelites. I can get it. But it doesn't the Bible say who should have a speech or that in court they speak Greek. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They, they ain't court. So how can we tell if they were Israelites or not? Watch, I'm gonna show you. You know the you know the Spartans real name was? Spartans. Nah, that's not their real names are the last Madonians. They, they didn't call themselves Sparta. Sparta was the capital city of uh, their land, the last Madon. That's why when you watch that movie 300, if you ever notice on their shields, it was an upside down V on their shield. That, that's a Greek L. That stands for last Madon. That's that country. Here, I'm about to show you. This, this is one of the reasons why you got to get one of these apocalypse. This is 1st Maccabees uh, 12. Yeah, because you actually, ain't nobody else going to be uh, badass warriors with the Israelites. Only Israelites. Just like the Vikings were Israelites, you know what I'm saying? Those are some of the baddest warriors in the history. 1st uh, Ma uh, Maccabees 12. And, uh... 21, first Maccabees 12 and 21. It is found in writing that the last Madonians, when you look that up, that's the Spartans. You know what I'm saying? That's their real name. It is found in writing that the last Madonians and Jews are brethren and that they are the stock of Abraham. I mean, that's clear. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you believe that, uh, like, Stuff that happened into the world, like, like big, big events and shit. Do you believe those are spiritual implications that God's trying to give out to give them a message? What do you mean? Yeah, there's all kind of messages. Like, as in, like, for one, for instance, like the. Uh, and uh, Sergeant Ryan Pitts received the Medal of Honor. You know what I'm saying? And. Uh, no, the Medal of Honor is an upside down. Yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, <laughs> a baffle man. Yeah, the motherfuckers ain't slick. I saw that shit. You know what I'm saying? And he broke the gavel and shit. So, uh, did you see? Uh, did you receive that message I sent you on your on the YouTube? It's about oh, that was you? Johnny. Yeah, his name was Deuce. Name the brother's name is Johnny. I don't know if I like, said it. Uh, well, I, I sent it. It's on your discussion. So yeah, like, yeah, I gotta check it. Sometimes yeah, I'm it, always, always, always like Google you to check these this days. I be missing all kind of messages, man. Oh yeah, it's set up. I need you. I need you to check this dude out though. He's sweet though. Wow, what's your what's your YouTube channel name? No, no, his YouTube channel name. Is no, what's your channel name? So I know to look out for you. Oh, it's a, I, get, I be getting a lot of messages. I be trolling people, people trolling me. Oh, it, it, I'll, I'll be on my, uh, my Japanese one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's all good. I'll, I'll look out for it. <laughs> okay, I think I did see that. All right. All right, let's go to the school. This is the school of David when he's about to fight me. <laughs> you know, yeah, the giants. The Israelites killed all the giants. Philistine. You know they had six fingers and six toes? The who killed all the giants? The Israelites. I thought uh, the giants was uh, dead when uh, God flooded the earth. Nah, that's, 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 that's something totally different, that's bugged different. out. That, that's, that's, 
We have I got videos on you. We could do that, but that'd be like an hour long class. Cause you think about this, people try to say the Nephilim are the giants. Uh, that's not we're the Nephilim. But that's uh, we could go into that. Uh, read that. The Philistines came and born and drew near unto David. The man that bare the shield went before him. When the Philistines looked at Tyre and saw David, this disdained him. He disdained him. For he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair confidence. The giant looked at him. Oh, young motherfucker. How are you gonna come fight me? I'm bad as shit. You know, talking shit. He used to be important. And the, and the Philistines said unto David, Am I dull? that thou comest to me with stage, staves, and the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Curse out our God. And the Philistine said to David, come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air, and to the beasts of the field. They was, you know, pre-fight, pre talking shit. <laughs> pre, you know how it is when boxing, at the press conference. Pro wrestling. You know? We're the pro wrestling. <laughs> He's talking the best shit. We're talking with the mic yeah. on toilet. Let me tell you, man, Jane. <laughs> 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 and the Philistines said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beast of the field. Then when then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts. The Lord of the armies. The most high of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. So yes, David's like, You come unto me with a sword. Yeah, that don't mean shit. Y'all coming in the name of the Lord, you know what I mean? We don't need no soldiers. I got something to back you up on that. Uh, Just like we come into the name. And that's why we've been out here all this time and nobody can't do shit. Because we're in the name. We ain't coming up to Jesus! I, I got a precept for that. You know? Let me get a precept real quick. Okay. Uh, Judith 9 and 11. Uh, I used to read this all the time. Hold on a second. Uh, I got it right here. Judith 9 and 11. For thy power standeth not in multitude, nor thy might in strong men. Mm. For thou art a God of the afflicted, and helper of the oppressed, an upholder of the weak, a protector of the forlorn, a savior of them that are without hope. So the Lord don't... The that's Lord... Self-explanatory. Yeah, self-explanatory. Go ahead. <laughs> then, they, then said David to the Philistine, uh, This day... Will the Lord deliver thee and smite thee? And I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. Now he's telling what he's going to do before he even did it. Yeah. 46. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee and will take and will take thine head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a power in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. That's why, yeah, right, the Lord don't save with sword and spear. That's why you got a bunch of crazy people. Like you got some people, they might read the Bible, and then they talk about they got to go overthrow the government. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take up arms. We're going to, over, we're going to, we're going to start a revolution. I'm going to build my army. You know what I'm saying? Actually, that is, that's going to happen. Yo, and no, it is going to happen, but the Lord ain't with that. You know what I'm saying? Because those people, are, they going to get led straight to the slaughter. So, so, you, so you mean to tell me you'd rather have a motherfucker come and pick your ass up and pick it to the people can't touch your ass without trying to fight back? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you ain't supposed to be... The, the, just the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. The Lord, the Lord Lord's gonna happen is gonna happen on the Lord's time. Because the Lord, like he said, the Lord give us power. He gives us power. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna, it's gonna be all over it. And it came to pass. When the Philistines arose, like when this wires pop off, man. Like the scripture says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. You know this shit pop off. We ain't gonna be out in these streets, man. Okay, you know, we're going to be sitting back watching. Right. That's what you know, if the television is still on, cable is, if it's still on, which I doubt it, we're going to be sitting back watching or listening to the radio. You know, right, right, you know. But the Lord, he is going to raise that spirit of rebellion. And then yeah. it's going to, all the two-thirds. It is fucking fruitcake. The people that are going to die, the two-thirds, 
they're the ones the Lord is going to raise up to, to start this revolution, this so-called revolution. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers going to stick. They're going to they gonna, I, I feel sorry for these. I don't even feel sorry for them, but these, uh, these suburbs around Columbus. Oh, they That's where pillaged. you don't want to be. They're be thinking they sweet. They're getting pillaged. <laughs> That's where everybody's going to go. better than their damn body. Oh, Bexley going to get gonna, it. That's where everybody's going to go. That's where everybody's going to go. That's where all the Jews are, so-called Jews are at. That's right. Buying out the next one. Buying up the guys in this shit. This is really bad. They killing little children. Man, this motherfucker's crazy. Everybody's going to rise against Israel. Man, this even says so on the word. Yeah. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slung it and smoked the Philistine in his forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead. Yeah, so he didn't now, come out with no sword. He came out with, with one little, little stone. Now I said the rock sunk in like a bullet. Yeah. Now David swung it and it shot like a bullet. It didn't just, I could be this close to you and hit you with a rock. It ain't gonna sink in. It's gonna cut the shit out of you. Well, it's not gonna sink in. But David, poof! That bullet, you know, like when a plane. That's spiritual power. When a plane breaks the speeds, the sound barrier, it pop! Pop! That, that bullet had to have made that sound, a bullet sound. You know what I'm saying? It had to have made a sound, man. And it yeah. sunk in his head, you know? And it slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. It's really, the Lord gave him power right there, man. These even accounts, when you read the book of Maccabees, the Judas Maccabees and his army was out battling the, uh, battling the Greeks or the Macedonians or whatever. The Lord sent an angel down with him. He sent an angel out of the sky and the angel started fucking shit up. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. But that happened all through the Bible. Like when uh when you read about Hezekiah. You ever read about King Hezekiah? When he was being sieged uh by the Assyrians, the Lord sent an angel down and killed the whole damn army. <laughs> so the Lord did it, he'll send help, bro. He ain't gonna leave. Nobody here knows what the angel looks like. Oh, well, what is the descriptions in the Bible? So, so like, Catholics look at it as a human figure and stuff. Well, they are. They have a human figure. Because yeah, the, the Bible a, describes them as men sometimes. You know how Jesus said, turn your cheek right now. Like, turn your cheek. Yeah. Well, turn the other cheek. That's, that's not saying just to lay down with someone punching you in the face. I mean, that's retarded. You know what I mean? Turn the other, turn the other cheek is like when you about getting a fight with somebody. You know, sometimes they say be the better man and walk away. And something like that. Sometimes when you know you don't have to get in a fight, you're like, whatever, bro. Just go on with your shit. I ain't fighting. Yeah, you ain't worth my time. I ain't fighting. You know what I'm saying? That's what turned the other cheek, man. It ain't talking about, like, just let someone beat your ass. <laughs> That's retarded. There's no wrong defending yourself, you know what I mean? It is actually a scripture where the Lord says you have to buy a sword. Remember, uh, that's in Luke, man. Buy a sword. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, that's a good point. Uh, Peter had a sword. And he said, uh, live by the sword, die by the sword. So I mean, like, well, that too. Well, you ain't supposed to live by the sword. Well, he, 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 um, He's just saying you can have it. When he said live by the sword, he means all the time. Like, not going all the damn people. Don't go over kill his career. Like, yeah. Hey, check this out. This is Isaiah 41 and 5. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Now this is what the Lord said. He will make, behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small. The mountains referring to the governments. Oh yeah, the mountains, kingdoms. Mm -hmm. The Lord refers to kingdoms as mountains. And beat them small and shalt make the hills as chaff. Okay, I'm gonna go back to uh, 2nd Samuel 23 and 8. This is uh, the Mighty Men. You know the story of the Mighty Men? What well, we're going to go into. The Mighty Men. The Mighty Men. These be the names of the Mighty Men who David had. The Chachmonite that sat in the seat. And this is who David pretty much conquered the whole, pretty much the whole earth with almost. You know what I mean? Literally, he had all, every damn red devil on the run. He, he almost nearly exterminated all, all of Edom. Almost. Almost. 
the touch from Mike that sat in the seat, chief among the captains, the same was Adino, the S Knight. He lifted up his spear against 800. Now, I can put 800 10 year olds out here if you want me to kill them. 10 year olds. 10 year olds. <laughs> now, listen, listen. One of them the last listen. one. Listen. <laughs> right, right, right. One of them with me. <laughs> now, listen carefully. Listen carefully. <laughs> Chief among the captains, the same was Adino the S Knight. He lift up his spear against 800, who he slew at one time. Eight, 800 or one time. Now he talking about awesome. that ain't no 800 men of war. That ain't nothing though. That's, that's, that's just a, that's a, that's what, that was just a snack for him. man, David the Mighty Man, you ever played like a ga video game like Gods of War? Or Dynasty Warriors or something like that. So, so that that's that's real life. See, they ain't gonna make no video game on King David. Okay, that'd be the baddest video game ever created. And look, King David killed more people than anybody in history. He's the Bible says he killed tens of thousands. Now, now think of the Earth back then. Cause the Earth didn't have chemtrails, didn't have uh, fluoridated water, didn't have GMO foods. And, 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 and diseases and you know the, the list goes, goes on and on the more earth was a lot more pure then so we were we were trees were growing bigger the bugs grew bigger we grew bigger they just said the you bible said 800 people in one that ain't, man, and the was, bible there's a scripture in numbers uh unless I they all had a heart attack and just fell out what's that and the, hey hey and that was <laughs> that wasn't nothing he's was probably you know after he finished that 800 he's probably looking for more to kill you understand what i'm saying because the native americans oh, there's that scripture that said the sword uh, oh yeah, I think that's clean. going. To, that's what oh, going to. Right here, that's what I'm going to. Oh yeah, check this bad. out, man. This is bad, man. And he swore one time after him. Well, let's let's all the son of Dodo, the Amalekite, one of the three mighty men with David, when they defied the Philistines, that they were there gathered together to battle, and the men of Israel were going away. He arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary. And his hand clave unto the sword, and the Lord brought the great victory that day, and the people returned after him only to spoil. Let me read that right, again. His hand cleaved unto the sword. He arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary, and his hand clave unto the sword. So he probably his he them swords. Was, first of all, David's sword was Goliath's sword. Now, play. See, he goes there. Hand is going into oh, yeah. Where he at? Now, he was holding his sword so long and oh, he, oh. His hand <laughs> did it the metal, oh, and his hand was stuck in it. It was stuck. <laughs> you know how like, he probably you know let go.